Welcome back everybody to Satisfactory. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we're going to get our steel on. But before we get started, if you'd like to be a member of the awesome old guy gaming community, you can find a link to the Discord in the description of the video and also in the about section of the channel. Also be aware that I do live stream a few times a week. Best thing to do is join up on the Discord where I will announce the streams because my schedule is somewhat fluid. Okay, let's get started. So, uh, I have already, uh, before I started rolling the camera, um, done everything I need to do to get the coal and the iron uh, ready to go for the steel. So let's just take a quick look at that first and we're going to also stop by and take a look at our milestones uh, because there's a few things I want to show you there. So uh, the iron is pretty straightforward. Uh, all we really had to do for that is hook up the other two um, miners down below and uh, because this conveyor belt was you know kind of glitching through the or clipping through the ramp there I had to put a catwalk ramp in place of that but basically these two guys um, are just shipping their iron up uh, to this merger and then running along this belt to that elevator up to our beautiful new conveyor belt walls I love those things um, so we're gonna start using those from now on I'm, I'm debating whether or not I want to redo these walls um, the problem with that is that if I do, I'm going to have to realign everything to the holes in the wall. And I'm not sure I want to go to that trouble <laughs> uh, to do that. But if I do, it, of course, that would be something I would do off camera. Okay, so yeah, that gets the iron going. Uh, now, we have 240 iron um, coming through here, uh, through that merger. And we're only on Mark 2, which is only 120. So this... A, a setup initially is going to be a little bit starved until we can get to mark three which is going to be one uh, probably our next milestone goal okay as far as the coal goes uh, we had that rich uh, node or pure node rather um, off down this way so what I did here let's see here let's get up here because we'll probably be able to see a little bit better from up here Okay, so I've got the, the miner down there on that pure coal node. Uh, we had to stack two conveyor belts to get it up high enough, and then this is just running over uh, to our line over here and then running on another stacked conveyor belt until it gets to that point uh, where it then goes up a little elevator and then turns right into the building. And then once it gets to the building, it goes up another elevator, runs along the wall mount conveyor belt to, to the wall there. Okay, so that's what we got going on here. Another thing I did off camera is I set some pillars in on the supports because I mentioned I wanted to do that just to make things more realistic in terms of what the support should be. Um, so I went and set up those down there and everything over here. There's a another support, uh, I believe, right here. Yeah, so there's a support here going down to the ground as well. And um, wherever else uh, around here, I did it. Now, uh, further on down that belt, I could put a few more supports in, which I'll, I'll get around to at some point. Uh, but I just, you know, I feel like it, it works better. It looks better. It's more realistic uh, by doing that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for getting the coal and the steel to the factory. Uh, so again, I just did all that off camera because, you know, it takes a little bit of finagling to, to line things up and get it nice and straight. But you guys have already, you know, seen me do that multiple times now. So... I don't think I want to keep showing similar things over and over again, you know, on camera. But let me know in the comments, you know, if, if you would have liked to have seen me set all of this up, um, then, you know, do let me know that. And if if the majority of you or even enough of you would like to see the more main mundane stuff, then, you know, uh, I can I can show it, too, um, for those that are interested. OK, so anyway, let's see here. So, yeah, we got the we got the coal coming in right up here. So that's the coal line coming in up that elevator. I use, again, some of the conveyor wall mounts. I love those things up to the wall there. And that uh, pretty much gets everything ready to go in terms of bringing in uh, the two needed resources. Now, let's go over to our hub here. Uh, I also did a cutaway here for our, uh, our pod because, well, it needs clearance, right? So <laughs> I fixed that. One thing I want to uh, always remind you guys, too, is that most of the time I'm usually ahead of you guys, um, sometimes by several episodes, 
Uh, so, you know, if you've given me a comment, like, for example, let's say you said, oh, gee, you need to cut that away for the pod, but then you didn't see me do it in the next two or three videos. It's simply because I haven't seen your comment. Um, so just kind of be aware of that. So if you had commented on this, um, thank you for that comment. Um, and it's it's been done. OK, now for that, let's get uh, going in here. So we so the next milestone that I uh, we really need to get uh, is logistics mark three, because until we do that, um, our lines are going to be starved. So so my plan is to do logistics mark three next and then advanced steel production. And then we'll do hypertubes and then we'll probably end with uh, vehicular transport. I'm not really ready to do much with this yet, so it's the least most important of the milestones that we need to get done in this particular tier. Okay, so Logistics Mark III is, is what I'm gunning for next, and in order to do that, we're going to need 200 steel beams and 100 steel pipes. So we're going to set up for uh, these two as the start of our uh, steel production line. Now, a couple things uh, to show you here. Uh, we get, you know, we get the the larger storage containers, which are awesome. And once we get these, I'm gonna I'm gonna also set up some smart splitters, and I'm gonna kind of reduce some things in my in my starter factory to make it more efficient because I've got some uh, I've got some machines that are are backed up, um, some smelters and stuff that are backed up. So. The general idea is that we use smart splitters. We replace the old bins with industrial storage containers, and then we use the overflow function of the smart splitter to send all the product uh, that's not, you know, that's not being stored to the awesome sink. And that way, everything can run efficiently and run 100% of the time, and not get packed up. Um, this is what we're really wanting, though. These two things here, because these will transport resources up to 270 per minute. So this is what we're really gunning for to get our steel production line as efficient as possible. Uh, power storage. The other thing I'm probably going to do is I'm thinking about removing uh, the bio generators, taking them out and putting the extra power storage over here um, because those are essentially just ginormous batteries and then you know having those store up some power so if we need some emergency backup. Uh, I'm still going to keep the bio generator production line in place because we're going to need biofuel for like the explorer and some other things later on so that's not going to go away but i kind of don't see the point really in having these anymore if we can replace them with the batteries um it depends upon what we get out of the batteries too because these produce 30 megawatts a, a pop right so i'm not sure we'll have to look at that when the time comes all right so let's see back to this for a second we uh, want Logistics Mark III, so 200 steel beams, and we're going to need the steel beams also to make the Mark III conveyors, um, and 100 pipes. So that's what we're gunning for right now. And of course, we can not we can select the milestone, but we can't actually do anything with it because we haven't started producing uh, those items yet. Um, okay. All right, let's head on back upstairs. And take a look at what's going on here. So, this is a foundry, and it takes in 45 iron per minute and 45 coal per minute, and outputs 45 steel ingots per minute. Okay, uh, what my plan is is to set up four of these to start with, and that will give us 180 steel ingots per minute. Okay, now the um, the recipe for the uh, for the steel pipe takes in 30 per minute and the recipe for the steel beams takes in 60 per minute so that means that two steel ingots and two steel pipes all together will be guess what 180 per minute perfect right so yeah that's what we're gonna do um, and that's that'll be our start start of our steel and then you know depending upon how things go we might change it up a little bit now again um, for those of you very astute viewers here, I do know, and I've already mentioned that the the setup's going to be a little bit starved to begin with until we can get up to Mark III. But I'm going to set it up right now so that it can work with Mark III. Okay, Mark III gives us 270. This is in total going to be bringing in 240 uh, for us for the for the the iron, and actually the coal. Now the coal is only going to give us 120, but we will also get the Mark II miner. So when you get the Mark II miner, um, that should fix that issue and bring that back up until uh, it's even Steven again. 
All right, so hopefully that all made sense. Now, let's go ahead and figure out where we're going to place our foundry. Um, so what I want to do, of course, is line it up with the walls here. Let's turn that around. And is that actually lining it up for me with the lines? It would be nice if it was. And let's bring it in to here. Okay, let's see if that's actually lined up. It would appear to be, yeah. Okay, very nice. Uh, we don't need this here, of course. I'm almost wondering if I want to... Um, let's see, you're going to take in 45 per minute, right? Right, okay, so you can use Mark 1 uh, for these inputs. And then this should line up perfectly. These walls are just amazing. Love them. Very cool. Okay, so, yeah, 60 per minute. Um, but, oh, you know what, though? We're going to have to do some... That's right, darn it. We're going to have to do some splitting, too. So this is actually not... Uh, i got to think about this for a second. There's a couple ways we could do this, actually. We could bring in some belts here. Um, no, that isn't going to work. And I was thinking about putting the mergers right on the belts, but they're going to be right in each other's way. So that's not going to work. Okay, we gotta we got to rethink this. That's part of Satisfactory, rethinking it. <laughs> uh, we got everything. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is, because this we want to kind of keep this clear, um, we're going to take a merger, and we want to send, or no, I'm sorry, a splitter. We want splitters. One of these is going to have to be higher, and one of them is going to have to be lower. Okay, so let me do this. Doesn't really matter which one's higher or lower. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is pop this on here. To accomplish that. Okay, now. What we could do, since it's high enough up in the air is we could put a splitter uh, right on here, like so. And then to make sure everything's nice and neat and lined up, we also want to take a splitter and line it up with this and also with that and bring that up to here with the input on that side. Okay, are those lined up? I think they are. Yep, they are. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, now what we can do is we can grab our first foundry. and put this back in place again. Uh, pretty much those are going to be lined up if, if we just make sure this is in the middle of the, the tile. And let's just bring it to here. Okay, now these can be Mark 1s because it's only going to ever take in 45 per minute. No, that needs to go up one more. There we go. And uh, the belts uh, into here can also be marked once. Why isn't that... Why isn't that lined up perfectly? Or is it not aligned? Now it's lined. Hmm. That's weird. So if I lower it down, it's going to be too low. What's this one doing? 
Yeah, neither one of those are level. That's got to have something to do... Oh, I just noticed another problem. This is going to be in the way of this. It's got to have something to do with... I guess the placement of the splitters. That is really weird. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's get rid of these splitters temporarily. Um... Oh! What did I... <laughs> I just switched to the wrong thing. Okay. That is really bizarre, though. Okay, let's do this. Let's, um... rid of all of this stuff for a second what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the foundry in further let's bring it to the center of the tile <laughs> all right now if we put uh, if we put a belt on here, those should be, that should be level. Okay, yeah, it just had some kind of, something to do with a wonky placement of the merger, I guess. All right, well, here's, here's what we're going to do then. We're going to, um, nope, we're going to put this on here, like so, and, uh, run a mark two to here which will be upgraded on this side to a mark three is that wait a minute is that still not completely level I don't know <laughs> it doesn't appear like it's completely level it's like something is maybe off with the position of these conveyor walls i don't know man that's really weird that is really weird okay well i mean if that's the way it is that's the way it is i don't know what to do about it now what we're going to do is we're going to grab splitters and we're going to put those uh in the middle here make sure that we're lined up with the south and get it in what appears visibly to be as close to the center as possible and then let's also do the same thing up here. There we go. All right, now these belts here. Um, oh wait, those that's already a Mark One. Maybe this one was too. I don't remember. Uh, but those only need to be Mark Ones <laughs> because this will only ever take 45 in per minute. Um, okay. So that gets our first foundry set up. Now, let's go ahead and grab the next foundry. And let's see, we want the inputs on that side. And if we just hold control, actually here, let's go like this. And let's put four more of these in, like so, okay. Um, then uh, we just put Mark 1 lifts here, and here, and here, and then we put Mark 1 lifts with two of the black things showing and then one more notch. So one, two, there, and one, two, there and one two there easy peasy all right now what we're gonna do is we're going to what hmm i wonder if we're still gonna have let me try something here I get that splitter 
This is probably going to make it crooked again, but it's already not perfect, so if we put a splitter... Oh, yeah, no, the problem with that is it's going to run into the other belt. Right, okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's redo what we just undid. And we want the splitter as close to the center as possible, so right about there. And then we'll just go down from here. And here, let's get a little closer so we can kind of use the green lines there right at the top of my screen to line up with each other. pretty close excellent all right now what we're gonna have to do to get this to line up nicely what we might actually be able to do is if we let's put a belt in here hmm that doesn't seem to be quite lining up with the splitter that's a problem, actually, now that I think about it. So we need to do... We need to move these over. Alright, what if we... Just put that there for a second. Or, actually, hold on. Too high. Try it one more time. I'm just doing this temporarily so I have a, a place to mark it. And hopefully it'll line up with the belt. Okay, so now if I... We might have to look at it from this way. So it's not snapping, but I can still, still eyeball it as best as I can. So we want it lined up on the pole as close as possible. That's pretty good. And then this one should be right about there. Perfect? Probably not, but pretty damn close, I would say. Okay, now let's go ahead and work with this top one first. So we're going to come all the way back here and yeah, we're going to have to just use the foundation snapping to make this work. And I'm just going to bring it back here and bring it up to there. Uh, which is... Not high enough. Yeah, that's going down. Okay, let's try this again. I might not be able to actually get it any higher that, than that with its own pole, in which case we'll have to use some stacking conveyors instead. Yeah, that's how the higher it gets. Okay. Let's just do this then. Uh, we'll put a stacking conveyor right there and take it up another level. Okay, now let's get a belt and run it all the way to here. Is that level? It looks like it is. Okay. Good. Um, so... Now what we're going to do is we're still going to split, and this we're going to have to eyeball, but we have lines to do that, so we should be able to get it pretty darn close. Right there. Ultra sensitive keyboard here. Just barely nudge it. <laughs> there. Um, that's probably about as good as it's going to get. That's pretty good, too. Okay. And then these are all um, just mark ones 
into there and into there and into there and we don't need this anymore but we are going to keep this up for a second to use as a guide for the bottom one so we want that to go oh really it's too far huh it is Oh yeah, that is further back. Okay, no problem. We'll just bring this a little closer. Um, how about right here? And I think that's all the further we gotta bring it up. Like so. Alright, is that level? Looks level to me. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Now we basically just do the same thing. Grab splitter. Um, excuse me. And line it up. Make sure we're pointing east and then do our, that's pretty close, pretty doggone close. Having a hard time seeing the line because everything is so bright. That's going to be pretty close to, I think. Come on, just a little nudge, just a hair nudge. <laughs> I think that's pretty close. Excellent. Okay. We no longer need any of... Oh, no. Let's not take that down. Don't need that anymore and don't need this anymore. And then again, mark ones into here. Okay, good. So I think we have our inputs all set up. This is, you know, the usual manifold design. Um, for those of you who don't know what, what exactly that means, it, in short, it basically just means this one has to become fully, the buffers have to become fully filled up before it starts pushing or this way. And then this one, when it becomes filled up, then it starts pushing the ore this way until eventually when everything's, all the buffers are full and it's working at, 100% capacity. That is still not level. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. The only thing I can say is that the this conveyor wall is it is not positioned correctly. There's something not right with that. That's the only explanation I can come up with. Anyway, uh, and then you know once it all fills up, then it's everything's working at 100% efficiency. It just takes time for that to take place. Um, the other common way to set things up like that is to split, uh, you know, split stuff off so that everything is, you know, getting the same amount of time at the same time. The thing I don't like about that design is it takes more space and you got to add more shit down. Uh, the manifold design is, is, is neater, uh, even though it takes a little bit longer for the production to get to hundred percent, but that's okay because you know what? We're not in a hurry. We're enjoying this game. And there's no reason to hurry. Stop and enjoy the flowers, baby. That's what we're all about. Okay, so now, next thing I'm going to do is... Um, I actually want to go down below for a second. I've got to look and see how the walls are set up. I want to actually put the walls in place right now, or, or at least the ones next to the equipment, so I can uh, use wall sockets, because I don't, you know, don't want to use... A bunch of power poles. So let's get down here. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to put a window. Am I going to be able to do that from here? It's not going to let me. What if we... Uh, yeah, uh, uh, there we go. So let's just... I mean, I guess we might as well just come all the way down with them, right? We get that one up there, yeah. Let's just do one more for good measure. Okay. Right now, those are the only reason those are there again is just for for the power connection. And we have that power connection there, so we'll probably run a line directly up from there. Where's my stairs at? Oh, here, let's just go down here. 
I thought about running the power through the ceiling instead of the walls, but I like to do a lot of underfloor conveyor work. And if we have a bunch of power lines in the way, see, I did do that right there. That could cause problems. So uh, we're just going to stick with the walls. For Ooh, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Hole in the floor with a 300 foot drop. Yeah, not a good idea. Okay. Um, so we know that these are uh, our walls here. Um, here, actually. Let's temporarily get that out of the way. And we'll just do this. Run those up like so. Right there. Good. Now, um, let's just put that there for the moment. Now we need to get that power line up here. Don't remember exactly where... Oh, it's... Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so... Let's temporarily remove that foundation. So we know where to look. Come on. Oh, that's already maxed out. Shit. Okay. Um, what about the one outside? Oh, we were talking about this one anyways, weren't we? Okay, so we want a double... And that's right on this seam here. Um, let's bring it up to there. And then we need to actually connect the power to it. There we go. Okay. That should be good for that. So this is our main line coming in. Now, where are the power connections on these guys? They're right there, nice and easy to get to. Uh, so what I'm going to do here then is let's stand right here. and But we want this actually, oh, that's going to be too high. Maybe what we should do is run this here instead of here. Kind of makes sense to do that, I think. Okay. Don't think we need this anymore. Now, we should be able to... Could just do this and this. No, that's not gonna work because it's it's glitching through the thing. All right, so yeah, let's make or let's get just a single. We'll put it right on the seam there, and then go to there. Nothing's touching. We're good. Okay, and we'll get another single right there, and bring that to there. Power lines are a little bit lower than I'd like them to be, but if we put them any higher, it's going to run into our conveyor line. So we're going to have to we're going to have to be happy with this. All right, let's grab this, and we want to come to the next seam, and then run this to here. It's not touching anything. We're good. Okay. And then let's just run another line probably here and we'll just leave that there for now we have power okay let's set all these guys up to do steel ingots 
when they can get started getting their buffers filled. It's a beautiful thing. There we go. All right. Steel ingots, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're going to do, again, uh, our our same manifold setup. and uh, But we only have the one output here, which is fine. So this is going to be outputting 45 per minute, so everything can be Mark 1 on this side. So let's put a thing here. We'll get it up off the floor so we can move through it nice and easily. And we're going to take this constructor down rebuild it and make sure that it's nice and lined up with it get the right direction lined up with that and then it's just kind of a matter of where we want to how far out we want it to go um, yeah that's good I like that okay now these are lined up, right? Wait a minute. Are they? Yeah. Man, sometimes it doesn't look right, even though it is. You know, and then other times it looks right, and it's not. Mark one line into here. It's beautiful. Okay, let's continue with the same setup here. Okay, those are straight. Very good. Um, so now what I'm going to do is let's make what we need, absolutely need the first more than anything else. Well, no, I guess it doesn't matter. We need both the pipes and the conveyors. So we need them both. All right, guys. Uh, I had to have, have a little thinking session here. Um, so I had set it up to have these two do the steel beams and these do two do the steel pipes but in order to evenly distribute all of the ingots across the whole line um, to do that I'm gonna have to add two mergers one merger from the, for those two one merger for those two and then split them back off again into the line uh, going down one manifold line uh, which I could do but I think what's going to be easier, it's going to make the storage a little more complicated, but not anything we can't handle. But uh, the but it'll make this end a little more efficient. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep that on the beams, but we're going to change this one to pipes. And then we're going to change this one to beams. Uh, like that. And then this one again will stay on pipes. And the reason for that is because the beams take in 60 and the pipes take in 30 and that's 90 and two foundries equals 90 so basically these two foundries will service these two constructors and these two foundries will service those two constructors and so now what we have to do is take and put a, a splitter back on here like we had it before and let's make sure it's uh, lined up um, we could actually you know the other way we could do this and make it really correct is yeah just stack it up like this we might have to reconnect the belts to get that to behave but that's okay we can do that and then this needs to be a merger now okay so let's stack up a merger here and we want the output yeah going that way okay good and then we just run a See, this will never be more than 22.5, uh, so we just need a Mark 1 belt here. There we go. So that should be set up correctly. Now, let's, uh, let's connect the power and see if we need to redo these belts or not. So, can I get... 
No, I'm not going to be able to get that power line to there without causing some problems. So what we're going to do to deal with that is uh, let's get rid of these railings here. And we're going to um, these two. Okay, we're going to grab this and put it in place. And this can be put in place there. And then we have windows. Um, yeah, let's get rid of these railings too. And then we'll grab a window. See, the power node is, uh, you know what, we might, yeah, we're probably going to have to use power poles for this. I wish you could daisy chain off of the connectors, but it doesn't let you do it. Okay, well, you know what, if we have to use power poles, we have to use power poles. It's not the end of the world. Um, so let's grab this line here, and we'll run a power pole to... Let's put it right here on this seam. Actually, what, hap what would happen if we put it right here? So it's gonna flip. <laughs> it just barely clears all of that. Uh, it's kind of touching that though, isn't it? Yeah, nah, that's not going to fly. So we're going to hold it one this way. Okay. That should keep it clear of everything. Good. Um, now, we're going to run from here to there. And if we run over to here, are we going to clip anything? Or are we good? I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, and it looks like the ingots are flowing, so everything is connected here, and we are in good shape. So we're basically going to do the same exact thing on this side, too. Hey guys, this is future old guy coming to you. I just finished recording uh, the episode and then I came back here and was looking at this and noticed that I should have reversed the uh, merger and the splitter between these two. And here's why. Uh, this guy is taking in 60 per minute. This one's taking in 30 per minute. Uh, but what's happening is this one is only getting 45 and so it's taking all of the ingots and it's still not getting enough and it's not sending anything over to this side um, and then this one's getting too much so what we want to do is we want to reverse these to get everything to balance out okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a merger here and we're gonna make sure that's lined up which I guess that's lined up the lines yeah that's good all right, and then put that there. Let's get rid of this. We're gonna have to rebuild all of the lines too, or they won't uh, they won't behave properly. All right, and then make sure that the output is going in there. Okay, and then um, and this we want this to be a Mark II belt, and I'll explain why in a second. So let's set up the Mark II belt. Uh, do we have product coming through? We don't, uh, which means we got to reset this one too. So put that there. 
Okay, now is product coming through? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, let's make this one um, a splitter. So, line that up there, take this off, uh, remove this and this, and we want that input to be on that side. Grab one of these, put it in place, turn it this way, and um, that should be going into there, okay. It's still really weird to me that that's not level. They just came out with an update a couple days ago, so I wonder if something just got messed up somehow. Huh, I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, I don't know that there's much I can do about that unless we... Uh, we could try and put the splitter directly on the belt, but then it wouldn't necessarily be lined up completely that way. It's going to look nicer, though. Let's do it that way. So we want to run um, a Mark III straight in there. If we put the splitter down here, but then just kind of eyeball it. So that'll work. Okay, that way it's, it's nice and straight. Um, this one's fine, though. It appears to be fine. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Okay, let's run a line into here. And do we have product flowing? I don't... Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. It's flowing good. Okay, so let's talk about uh, what we just did here. So, this is outputting 45 ingots per minute. It's going into here, and it's being split out. 22 and a half is coming out this way. 22 and a half is going in this way. So at present, this one is actually just a little bit starved because it needs 30 per minute. Okay. Um, so what's happening is 22 and a half per minute are coming into here, and 45 is coming into here. So we're getting 60. Uh, tw let's see, 45 and 22 is 67. Uh, and a half. So this is getting 67 and a half per minute. Um, so it's 7.5 higher than a Mark I belt can handle. So that's why this needs to be a Mark II belt. So what will happen is that this will eventually become, the buffer will eventually fill up in here. And when, when it, once it does, because see, this only needs 60 per minute and it's getting uh, 67 and a half per minute. Once this gets completely full, then it'll start back pushing that other little bit back over here till, till this will eventually become uh, or, or receive its 30 per minute and it'll all even out in the in the long run. It'll just take some time for that to work. I already switched things over on this side too. Okay, so I uh, wanted to just show that to you guys so you know that's actually the proper way to set this up. Okay, bye. Okay, the ingots are flowing. Beautiful. Uh, final thing to do here is get our storage uh, figured out so what we're gonna do for that is why don't we take a storage bin uh, I'm only gonna set one storage bin up for now uh, because we're gonna change these over to um, we're gonna change these over to the, the larger ones once we get the, the thing learned for it um, but these are actually going to have to go out a little further. So let's try this again. We'll hold them out to... I want them lined up with this one here. Let's hold them out to maybe here. Okay, good. Um, now, to get the right stuff into the right place, what we're going to do, let's see, this is, these are the steel beams. Okay, so let's have the steel beams go in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a... How much are you outputting? 
15 per minute and 20 so only yeah only 35 per minute so mark one spine here so let's put a thing here and turn it that way and I gotta think about this for a second we might need to make this one higher so one two three four let's get that one up in the air and this one we're gonna keep like that okay so then we want to go one two three four here I think these might be too close Unless, unless we put a merger on here, that might actually work okay. Yeah, that works. And then this one will be one, two, three, four, and that looks good. Okay, so that's sending the beams into there, and then for you, this is kind of tight, kind of tight, but, hmm, yeah, we can make this work. We can make this work. Okay, and then we want to put you there. You're not clipping or anything. Ooh, that's damn close. I think... It's clipping a little bit. <laughs> um, what if we instead point this this way? Now what happens? I don't have a nice 90 in that case, but we could make a nice 90. Uh, whoops. Let's bring this down to here. to come to uh, it's not gonna let me set it there damn it all right let's use a stacking conveyor see if this is gonna work I don't know it's not quite level We held this back. Oh, actually it is. I think I, I didn't have it lined up. Let's hold it back to here. Now let's try it. There we go. Okay. That's what we're looking for. And then on this side, put a thing there and just output it there. We should be able to just do that. Okay, cool. So we now have pipes coming into here and we have steel beams production coming into there. Our first steel production line and it is a beautiful thing. All right, you guys. Um, so what uh, I'm going to do is wrap up the episode here. I'm going to wait for, you know, the pipes and the beams to build up enough for us to do logistics mark three milestone. And once that happens, uh, we will probably start the next episode and then look at working on advanced steel production. Uh, what was the other thing? I yeah. Oh, can we make the Mark II miner now? No. Uh, whichever one is, gives us the Mark II. Here, let's just go look at it really quick. I mean, this episode's already gone too long anyway, so <laughs> what else is new, right? What else is new? Looks cool, though. Let's jump down here, and then here. Which one gives us the mark to minor? It's uh, advanced, yeah, advanced steel production. So, so this is the one we're going to be gunning for, 
and uh, shouldn't be too hard to get. We already have the, the rotors and we just need 200 steel pipes. Uh, but we're going to do Mark III first and then we'll do advanced steel production and then start setting up some more complex lines to get the beams, the statters, stators rather, sorry, uh, motors and the automated wiring and of course the heavy modular frames. Okay, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And by the way, oh, off camera, I think I'm going to I'm gonna come up with a plan for using... Hold on a second. I know, I completely just blew my outro, didn't I? Not the first time. Which one gives us the larger bins? Oh, yeah, the one we're working on now. So... Once I get these, uh, we're also going to make some smart splitters and start working on uh, getting that going, which means I, I'm going to set up over with the Caterium here. I'm going to set up a probably temporary, well, maybe not temporary, maybe a permanent um, uh, AI limiter thingamadoodle. Um, so let's just set this down for a second. Oh, I don't have enough plates. Here, let me show you over here. Where's my... Oh, it's right here. Just jumped right on past it. So we're going to set up um, an assembler and have it make AI limiters for us because we're going to need these for the smart splitters. Uh, but we also want to produce these uh, to feed into the sink because we get lots of um, points for those too. So I'll kind of get that going um, and we'll work on that and we'll work on mark three in advanced steel production uh, in the next episode or at least work towards those things okay goodbye <laughs>